Hi guys, Halloween is coming up and today I'm going to show you how to make deer horns at home. So for that you need these chenille pipe cleaners. I have them in two different varieties. One has a fur kind of thing on top of it and then the other ones are the regular ones. A hairband, a few flowers, the tape, this is a floral tape, scissors and then glue gun. Uh, all of these things were actually quite cheap and with all the coupons available on Michael's website, you get them for less than a dollar or two. Okay, so like you see, we have these uh, chenille pipe cleaners uh, from Michael's. Uh, I got a piece of 100 of them for around $2. So they're quite a lot. So I'm going to show you how we're going to start making these first of all the long ones we have to fold them into halves and just start turning them around each other like this okay we're going to do that for all of these until they all are ready okay so now what since all these five things are ready now we're going to start you know putting one over the other and kind of creating create a shape so i already have this created so i'm going to mimic this one so let's see uh, and the idea is you'd be able to you know kind of sort of turn and twist them around each other the way you want so it wouldn't be that hard actually uh, the other one I think went something like this okay like this and then I twisted another one on top of it maybe something like this I guess so you see we kind of have these ready and they kind of look similar to each other now we've already made one of these and we're going to continue make the same for the other one um, just a quick note is that while using these tapes be careful to wrap them very close to each other otherwise you know uh, they tend to be if you leave open gaps they tend to come out very easily and like you see the bottom is quite thicker than the uh, top part and that's quite natural that's the way if you see antlers they are naturally that way they are thicker at the bottom and then they curve towards the top that's where they get sharper so you, we have a floral tape here and a white headband if you get a brown headband which matches the color of the antlers then you don't need this but I don't so I'm just going to start by wrapping the floral tape onto the headband and then later on to the antlers as well so let's get started both our antlers are ready now what we're going to do is try and fix these antlers onto um, our headband and for that now we're, we're going to use super glue not super glue actually sorry the hot glue gun for the first time but at the same time I want to secure these antlers a little more tightly and I'm going to use these small rubber bands that I found so let's get started firstly I'm going to move these rubber bands inside 
like you see like this be careful because these are very very tiny and I'm gonna put two on each side we may or may not require these actually because the hot glue gun is quite um, you know effective that way just starting to put these inside like this first Again, the rubber band thing is absolutely optional. We may not need this at all, but I'm just being, you know, safe than sorry. So here it goes up again. All right, so first things first, um, let's, like you see first, let's try and put this in and check if it goes in well. And it does see so here goes the other end of the antlers here and at this point actually they pretty much look ready uh, and I'm so excited <laughs> keep holding once you feel it's secured itself a little bit then move on to the other side and generously apply the hot glue and press so make sure you're pressing on both the sides like this and be a little patient it might take a bit for the glue to actually hold these because the glue gets, you know, dried out pretty quickly. So, don't get disappointed. Okay, so now the hot glue gun has done its magic. And the antlers are sticking to the headband quite nicely. And uh, they are fixed. So, all I'm going to do now, I don't want to leave it this way. So, I'm again going to use the brown floral tape. And move it to conceal this section so let's do that So like you see now, our antlers are pretty much ready. The floral tape has gone all over on the top. And now the area which had, you know, the hot glue and the rubber bands has been concealed quite well. Uh, now I'm going to give it a very feminine touch in which I'm going to use some of the flowers and leaves on these uh, to make it look pretty. As our, it's warming up, I can feel the heat now. So it'll warm up really pretty quickly. Oh, here. Here you go. So I'm putting one dot and then immediately sticking the flower because the glue gets, you know, solidifies pretty quickly given the weather. And it's gone again. So, hold on. 
Good thing about this glue is it peels off pretty quickly too. So one more time. Okay. Let's wait for it to secure before we move on to the next one. And I don't want it to come off. Okay, seems like it's secured. Moving on to the other one by leaving a few inches of gap. Okay, there goes the second one. See how easy. Easy peasy. The third one. Going with the smaller flowers now. Yep. The fourth one. And with the, the cute smaller ones. Okay. And lastly, this one, the big one. And there it goes. So, ta da! I'm still going to wait for it to dry up a little bit so that it holds better. I don't want them to come out easily. So, hot glue gun works wonders.